name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now? Well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Vanderbilt Base in the States where the elite retreat. Imagine relaxing in the climate controlled comfort of your own private penthouse. Don't delay. Call today for an RSA guided tour of this state of the art residential facility. You won't be sorry. Is your RSA unit on the blink? Then call Rolo's Robot Repairs. We specialize in program interface, special supplemented units. Expert retrofitting, even personality implants. It's the latest ad, dirigible. Manned? No, it's automated. Fully loaded. It's got enough fuel on it for a three-month trip. Great, and only 100 feet above the main flyway. This reminds me of that belly dancer on Alalap 7. You relate everything to the opposite sex, Haldane? Yeah. Doesn't everybody? Showtime. This is the police. Please descend to ground level. So much for being polite. 280.1 VC in progress. Zone 9, all units respond. Scanning vehicle ID. Well, surprise, surprise, it's white. <laughs> Howdy, ladies. Rumor has it you need a little help, Haldane. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to listen to rumors, Castle? Among other things. Stay on its left, Jane. What the hell is that? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's headed straight for Ivory Towers. We'll take it, Jane. We copy, Brogan. We'll stay on the limo. Knock it off course. Why did I know you were gonna say that? Table for two. This just gets better and better. We hit a cloud bank on Zone 8 and lost visual. And the limo disappeared from the scanner a few ticks later. It just vanished into thin air. Well, that isn't what Took said, is it, Haldane? It was implied. Slow-mo, what do you got? Uh, Lieutenant, your assumption was correct. The capsule was a Class A sun chariot. 
its telemetry was configured to deliver the corpse directly into the suns. Well, someone didn't want us to find that body. Bye-bye, corpus delecti. I just love it when you talk dirty, Castle. Uh, I believe you are confused, Officer Haldane. The correct meaning of corpus delecti... Forget it. Forget it. Is it important, slow-mo? You got anything on a John Doe? Uh, negative, Lieutenant. No ID, no matches for missing persons. As you say on Earth, Zipola. Here's the coroner's report on your J.D. Brogan. Uh, thanks, Fredo. Slow-mo, take a look. SBA, Lieutenant. Tall male, 33. Six superficial scars. Several of the deceased's vital organs were missing. Heart, liver, all three kidneys. Sounds like a Brooklyn deli. Mmm, nice. It's funny. You know what I've got here? The estimated rebuilding costs of Mona's Galactic Cafe after you two dropped into dinner. Oh, come on, Captain. If it weren't for us, half the tenants of Ivory Towers would be pushing up Diluvian daisies. I couldn't agree with you more, Haldane. Now, now to work. You two remember uh, an interplanetary we got a couple of months ago from Planet Denai about organ leggers working in their wharf area? Yeah, didn't a number of very important surgeons get caught with their knives in the cookie jar? Yeah, but the killers got away. Right. But after reading the coroner's report on your space cadet, I'd say they found a new home. From tomorrow, I want you two on this full time. Ah, oh, come on, Captain. We're working three homicides now. I know what your caseload is, Haldane, and it can wait. Unless you prefer to argue the point. Here the Captain, Captain. Good night, gentlemen. Go home. Can you remember the last time we had a moment to ourselves? I mean, you know, like this? A sleeper awake. <laughs> now, I'm curious. How did you manage to get away early? We lost our cruiser. The onboards went down. You lie like an Altorian politician. OK, well, we did lose our cruiser. Mm-hmm. So what's the bump broken? We got a backbreaker starting tomorrow. Hmm. Oh. At least for now, I like it. Yeah, well, you got no argument out of me. <laughs> Daddy, you're home! Uh, sweetie, it's past your bedtime. But I wanted to tell Dad I got 100 on my math exam. Oh, honey, that's terrific. Now, get back to bed. What about our deal? What deal? Oh, she gets 100 on her test. Do you give her whatever she wants? Yeah, within reason. Six days in New Hawaii. You've been taking lessons from your mother? Of course. <laughs> it was worth a shot. How about a jar of peanut butter? OK, you got it. But you got to go to bed right this minute. You should have stuck with New Hawaii. At least you know where to find it. What do you mean? Well, peanut butter is about the hardest thing to get in Demeter City. I'm a cop. I'll find it. Hmm. OK. <sighs> Hi, Dad. Mm. Why are you home so early? <sighs> Don't miss Dr. Jory's special offer. Donate your organs and secure your place in the suns aboard a deluxe sun chariot. Well, one more than lunch. What, are you kidding? We got nine more clinics to check out. Good day. Welcome to Dr. Paul Jory's transplant clinic. If you are interested in signing on as a donor, Please speak to our receptionist, who will give you details of our special incentive plan. Excuse me, can you tell us where we'd find Dr. Jory? Ah, uh, yes, you called earlier. Dr. Jory is just prepping a patient. No, no, we had an appointment. Don't worry. Once he starts the operation, you can go in and talk to him. In the meantime, gentlemen, can I ask if you're both registered as donors? If you sign up now, we're offering you and your loved ones your own special resting place in the suns. Hmm. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. It came from nowhere. Ow, don't oh. touch me! But, but, but it was an accident. Oh, I think my legs broke. I didn't even see you. Oh. You want I should call a cop or a lawyer or something? Excuse me, sir. Yes? I've seen this punk try this one before. Oh. Hey, you, move on. Can the phony chairs. Go, beat it. Who the hell are you? The Lone Ranger or something? Ah. It's just like a human to go and try something like that. You're absolutely right. A, uh, a word to the wise. This place is infested with humans. Watch yourself. I would like to give you a little something. To thank you for your troubles. I, I, I'd be insulted, sir. This is my neighborhood. I'm just trying to keep it safe. Oh, well, uh, thanks again, <laughs> friend. My pleasure. Thanks again. The, uh, Lone Ranger. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> this time, Speedy. Next time, stick to the script. <laughs> we got a match. Tissue and blood? Absolutely perfect. I'm sure you'll find them all in order. The paper trail for each body part is pretty mind-boggling. It seems that I spend most of my time these days filling out forms. There. That does it. Wrap him up, Dora, and take him to post op. Yes, Doctor. Um, Doctor, how can you tell for sure that all the organs you receive are from legitimate donors? I can't. I have to rely on paperwork, just like everyone else. But I haven't had a donor call and complain yet. <laughs> Ah, Mrs. Bork. Now, here's a typical example. The Clyburn liver needed for Mrs. Bork's operation is coming all the way from asteroid A16, a miner who died in a cave-in. But since he registered as a donor, his life, or rather death, won't be a complete loss. It is unfortunate that in... Uh, in my field, one life has to be lost before another can be gained. Well, that's one way to look at it, Doc. That's the way it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to attend to Mrs. Falk. Well, extra time, Doc. Not at all. So, how about some lunch? I think I just lost my appetite. <laughs> So what do you think, Pike? Does our friend live in a large apartment or a small one? Hmm. This looks like the one. Hey! This place is taken! Yeah? Well, not for long. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Toenails? What possible use could they have for my toenails? Where you been, man? Toenail transplants are the latest craze. And yours are kind of cute. Hey, guys. We have a 207 in progress. Paradise Street. Code 3. It's right by you. Suspects left the scene in a black limo. We're on it, Fredo. Hey. Look familiar? Yeah, Dad, we've got identical twins flying around town with their numbers wiped. Oh, man. If it drops another one of those things... This is 
the police. Reduce your speed and descend to ground level. Yeah, right. We got him this time. Progan! Will you quit yelling in my ear? Where are you going, Pike, huh? Rogan, I don't think this is such a hot idea. Tracking. You still got him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> It was dark. He pulled a gun on me. All I know is it was a couple of crayons. Word on anybody money? Hey, Worth didn't know nobody. And nobody had it in front. He was as clean as soap. Yeah, so this must be his evil twin then, huh? Let's see. Pickpocketing. Bunko. Grand larceny. Petty theft. Hopper theft. Oh, man, I can see where this is going. You ain't gonna do zip to find out who grabbed him. Jeez. Look, for what it's worth, Wirt's a good guy. He's always been there for me when things have gotten tough, which is more than I can say for most humans. But that don't matter to you, does it? Don't bet on it, kid. So you'll find him? We're gonna try. Yeah. Are we finished here? Yeah. I'll get your ride back. What are you trying to do? Ruin my rep? I can't be seen with people like you. Hey, balls for brains. I am an RSA unit. When's the next shuttle back to DC? 2515, sir. I'm out of here. Sweet kid. So, Halde and I understand the limo pulled a vanishing act on Eagle Eye himself. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Okay, maybe I'll just take that as an apology. Dr. Jerry, what can I do for you? Well, I was hoping you might be able to put my mind at ease, Rick. I had a visit from the police. They were asking questions. They were anxious to know how and where I received my organ transplants. And what did you tell them? I uh, showed them the paperwork. I see. And you're worried that during the course of the police investigation, they'll discover some of our donor statements are uh, unorthodox? <laughs> In a nutshell, yes. The paperwork is fine, Doc. But there'll always be an element of risk. After all, if we didn't rob a few graves, hey, those organs would be gone forever, along with the lives of many of your patients. Yes, but I can't afford any damage to my reputation. Believe me, it's not in our interest either. So don't worry about it. Now, about that liver for your Clyburn patient? Good news. It'll be at the spaceport within the hour. Thanks. At least that's some good news. Talk to you soon. Okay, so far we've got a dead tarn. Minus a few essentials. A Cliven pickpocket snatched by a couple of Creons who most likely did the tarn. Flat feet from hitting every clinic and hospital in Demeter City, all of which check out to be legit. 
and a wise guy kid flop artist with a mouth. So? So what? You got an idea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scary, Brogan. Final boarding for Simpter Transport, level five. Okay, here's what I got on the medical imports manifest. One creon kidney, one creon heart, one trajan pancreas. You wanna stay with me on this? Uh, yeah. Creon right, kidney, right. creon heart, kidney, trajan pancreas. Heart, uh, our missing persons list, no matches. Got a rest shipment from uh, asteroid A16, a Clive on liver for uh, Dr. Paul Jari. All right, we'll take it. Earth passenger Monroe, please report to departure pad. In the last three days, Dr. Jory imported two consignments. Three Tarn kidneys, our John Doe Tarn, and one Clive and liver, Speedy's friend Wirt. Which will soon be walking out of Dr. Jory's clinic inside of Mrs. Vork. And we can't get a warrant to arrest Jory because all the paperwork is spotless. It's all just a coincidence. All very legal, all very smelly. We gotta turn up the heat, get him to make a mistake. Give me a reading on the cerebral stats. Minus nine of the lenticular nucleus. Mm. End rising. Pretty well. You can take Mrs. Volk to post op now. Dr. Jory is with a patient. Sorry, Miss, but I'm afraid you can't see him. Dr. Jory, Amanda Spox, Demeter City Times. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. It's just. Well, I'm doing an article on organ implants, and I was hoping you might lend me your expertise for a few minutes. Well, I'm interested in any publicity which might encourage the public to sign up as organ donors. Heaven knows we need them. And uh, what exactly do you need to know, Miss Sparks? How many transplant operations would a clinic like this carry out in the course of a day? Well, that varies, of course according to the availability and the suitability of the donor. But on a good day, we could get through between five and six. That many? Well, I had no idea. Now, do you specialize in just one species? Oh, good heavens, no. We, uh, we deal in a great many different species. Have you ever operated on a Clyburn? Now, that is a coincidence. I've just completed a liver transplant on a Clyburn patient. Now, that's just perfect. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about it? I'll go far ahead. Were you aware that a male Clyburn was kidnapped just last night on Paradise Street? His name was Udo Wirt. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, but I uh, failed to see the uh, correlation. Didn't you just say you just performed a liver transplant on a Clyburn patient? Yes, indeed. But our donor died in an accident on asteroid A16 and his livers were shipped immediately to my clinic. I see nothing unusual in that. I'm afraid there is. I have contacts on A16. The mining facility there hasn't had a death for over six months. So, who really was your donor, Dr. Jory? I'm sorry, but you have been misinformed. Well, if you'll excuse me, I am... I have much work I have to do. Thank you. have my officers in trapping prominent citizens, whether it be just cause or not. Any way you slice it, it is still entrapment. Captain, we were just trying to stir up the hornet's nest. Well, you certainly managed to do that, Haldane. Oh, yes. What the hell were you two thinking about, Brogan? Stopping a murderer before he kills again? You think Jari is a murderer? No. Perfect. You two have really balled up this one. Look, Captain, Jory may not be a murderer, but he's sure as hell part of the equation. Well, you're not. Sergeant Fredo, send up officers Oren and Robert. Right away, sir. Captain, wait a minute. If Jory is involved, I don't want him to walk because of bogus investigating. You've tainted this case. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to stay away from him. 
Go and juggle one of your other cases. A castle! You're out of uniform! And close the door! Hmm. Now what? Cover for me. I got someone I need to talk to. Not a problem. A reporter was here asking about a Clyburn called Udo Wirt. Apparently, he disappeared from Paradise Street last night. I've had enough of this. Cool it, Doc. I'm out. You're in way too deep. Out! Besides, you and your lovely wife really don't want to lose that nice, expensive home of yours. Now, do you? Huh? If we go down, you go down. Right. Now that we have that settled, what's the species of our next donor? <laughs> Threats. You find work? We need to talk, Speedy. What? Here? In broad daylight? I mean, you're starting to shave my rep. Okay. Then let's step into my office. Hey! We don't know for sure. He may still be alive. Nope. Wirt was an expert at getting out of places. He would have gotten in touch by now. You guys are pretty close, huh? My folks walked off a colony ship right into the Tarn Crean riots. They never had a chance. Word, he saved me, raised me. Taught you everything you know. He, he did the best he could, okay? Yeah, I guess he did. Hey, Brogan, everybody needs a trade. Hi, Dad. About this peanut butter thing, do I get a choice between smooth and crunchy? Um... You forgot, didn't you? Well, no, I didn't exactly forget, but it's not very easy to find, honey. There's always new Hawaii. Hey, good idea. You think they have it there? Bye, Dad. I still want that peanut butter. Okay, honey, bye. Cute. For a little kid, that is. So, what's with a peanut butter? We had a deal. She gets a good grade. You cop for the peanut butter. I heard of that stuff. Never had it, though. Speedy. Take care. Try Teradelli across the street. I heard they get all of their stuff there. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Forget it. I owe nobody, and nobody owes me. I get you. I'm looking for some earth style peanut butter. Crunchy, smooth, whatever you got. <laughs> Not a chance. I'll get something later. Damn. Uh, look, let me give you my uh, name, address, and uh, phone number. When you get some in, you give me a call, okay? Got it. Mr. Brogan. Right. Perfect match. Tissue and blood. How's the peanut butter hunt coming, Dad? Oh, don't ask. I already have. Right. You know, Dad, I've 
been giving this peanut butter thing a lot of thought, and I don't really care. You don't? It can be smooth or crunchy. <laughs> Come on, Squirt, let's play Tunnel Dragons. Oh, Riddle, did run down Couture. Why don't you, um, take off your clothes and join me? I don't think so. Well, no, Bergen. Might just relax you. Uh, maybe later. Hmm. Suit yourself. Hey, um, did you have any luck with that peanut butter? <sighs> Not you two. What am I going to do with you, Brogan? All right. Oh, yeah. Bonus round. Ten more points. Mr. Brogan, this is your lucky night. The boss found this out back just after you left. Huh. Brogan. 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 No way, I got one more man left. Oh, come on. I got the bonus round. Let's have one Anything? Uh, that's a negative, Captain. What happened? I don't know. I was in the therapy pool. I came down the hall. The door was open. The coffee was spilled. No it's... noise? No, nothing. I didn't hear anything. Is Daddy gonna be okay? Ah, uh, sure, sure. Dad can take care of himself. Now listen, we'll have some good news for you really soon. Captain? What have you got? Mrs. Albright, who lives in the next unit, saw Brogan getting into a limo with two Creons at the parking lot in the central hub. Oh, man, a limo and two Creons? The leggers. Gotta be. You two, get back down to Paradise Street. Question everybody one last time. I want that limo! Captain, what about Jory? Go for it! Tooken Castle, you're with Halday. You can start prepping your patient, Doctor. We got a donor. Have you removed the heart yet? No, but as long as we don't have any complications. Should be ready in a couple of hours. Then I'd like to remove it myself. Say again? Look, now that I know what we're doing, I don't have to accept poorly removed organs any longer. Uh, I'm not sure, Doc. Look, it puts my patient's lives at risk. Think about it. Bottom line, it's not good for business. And that's what it's all about, Doc. Sit tight. We'll come and pick you up. Captain, we don't want the limo pulling another disappearing act. Stay with him, Haldane. I'll send back on. What about the doctor? Have we trust him? Well, we don't have a choice. It's the only way we're gonna get to Brogan. Got a 
try to keep a fix on him, Tuki. I'm doing my best. Don't delay. Call train on RSA guided tour of the state of the art. I don't believe this. Track the limo's trajectory from the point where we lost them. This doesn't make any sense. It vanished right there. Here's a look at upcoming attractions on your face. Anybody got a can opener? Here's your first patient, Doc. By the way, found this in his pocket. The name's Brogan. He's a cop. Huh. Now, that's a stroke of luck. Here's the man who's been snooping around the clinic. Better go make sure everything in the bay is secure. Tonight at 13, as the Creon Community Council debates the issues live. It's the only place they can be. So how do we get Brogan out without tearing it apart? Come on, Doc. He's gonna be a dead man anyway. I'm not operating on a man unless he's properly sedated. I don't want to risk damaging his heart. This won't hurt a bit, Lieutenant. Hurry it up, Doc. I've tried every code, every frequency. If it's got a hidden entrance, I don't know how to find it. Cover the starboard side. I think it's time we tried the doorbell. All right, hit the PA, Tuki. Okay. This is the police. You are surrounded. Open up and prepare to be boarded. This is the police. You are surrounded. Open up and prepare to be boarded. All units, the limo has left the dirigible. Buckle up, this is going to be a bumpy ride. Go, 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 go! The limo. It's not going to get very far. It's headed right into Orin and Lomax's waiting arms. This is the police. police. Reduce, Reduce your speed, speed and descend to ground level. Too fast! Too fast! <laughs> Thank you.
Thought you two would like to know we snagged Rick and Pike's accomplice. At the spaceport, right? Right. Freight handler, medical import. He's very cooperative. Names, dates, everything we need to wrap this case up. So does this mean we get a raise? It means you don't get suspended. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, young man? That way, Captain. I'm not a captain, and you're not going anywhere until you fill out one of these... Yeah. one of these forms. Ugh, all right. Look, I'm out here. You need a ride? No, Sally and the kids are going to pick me up. It's, uh, it's good to have you back, partner. Get out of here. I heard you nailed the dudes that got word. Is that true? How'd you get in here? Anybody ever tell you that answering a question with a question is not quite? What's this? Stop with the stupid questions already. Just open it. <laughs> I got my sources. I got another stupid question. Why? Work was always into payback. I guess I am too. Daddy! Hey. Dad! Hey, hey. Hi. Mm. You all right? Yeah. Dad, you got my peanut butter! Yeah, I had some help from my friend. You got it. Beautiful. Uh, never mind. Come on, let's let's go home. Yeah. Oh, you should be all right. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Oh. Hey, you gotta give me some. You gotta be nice or something. about a peanut butter sandwich.